A Richmond County school gets a fresh start, and some leaders hope it's an opportunity to avoid a state takeover. News Channel 6's Renetta DuBose is live at the newly constructed Lucy C. Laney High School, where school board members just took a walk through to see the changes. Renetta? I'm standing inside of the portion of the school that is brand new. We're inside the math lab where students in the fall will sit here at these collaborative style desks and chairs inside of the new classrooms. Also inside of the new class, a new smart board. Now board members walked through here just a few minutes ago where they had a lot of excitement. They really loved everything that they saw here, but they aren't the only ones who, who are excited about this new school. Nice. Nice. He was almost speechless seeing a fancy new building in place of the one he graduated from in 1993. A lot of excitement. I mean, it's been a couple of years we've been moved to Walton Way and now I call it we're back home. Lucy C. Laney High School students attended their last classes at Tubman and will return to a 147,000 square foot newly reconstructed school on Laney Walker Boulevard in the fall. Students will sit in 23 new classrooms, a new CTAE and fine arts building, and a new cafeteria this fall. Lining the new entryway, which received a facelift, are bricks with names of former Wildcats, including Marquette Sims. He thinks this is a big deal for current students. The shooting range for the RTC, uh, the new auto mechanics center for working on cars, uh, even the music department, the new chorus room, which I was a part of. The new band room. All of that, I think, is draw kids and kids are really be excited here in August. Jack Paget is one of the school board members excited about the new Laney, a 15-month project utilizing 23 million SPLOS dollars to demolish an old building and construct a new one on an historic site. They see they'll see a new principal, which will be good. Cross Creek's loss will be Laney's gain as Virgil Smith returns to the school he graduated from. Paget tells us he believes the students will attain better academic success with the change, and it starts with the school's leadership and ends with a supportive community. I'm really happy to have someone with the Laney tradition because that is probably one of the greatest strengths of that school is people believe in it, the neighborhood believes in it. Now, after the board walked through the school, those members who are part of the building committee decided to discuss this building, and they voted to approve the building. Now, they will take that recommendation back to the full board for a vote next Tuesday. Live in Augusta, Renetta DuBose, WJBF News Channel 6. Back to you.